Why don't the Swiss ever play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when you're always yodeling. Now that's a joke, but it's also a fun introduction to the quaint and vibrant culture of Switzerland, a place where tradition and modernity blend seamlessly. Nestled in the heart of Europe, this charming country is filled with stunning landscapes, rich history, and delectable chocolates. But more than that, it's a land of adventure waiting for you to explore it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got a grand tour lined up for you, taking you to the top 10 must-visit spots in Switzerland. From the majestic peaks of the Alps to the bustling streets of Zurich, we're going to uncover the gems that make Switzerland such a treasure trove of experiences. So buckle up, because this journey is going to be more exciting than a Swiss army knife at a picnic. Before we dive in, do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us bring more exciting adventures to you. Each like, each subscription fuels our journey, enabling us to uncover more inspiring destinations and share them with you. It's like a virtual passport, granting us access to the most breathtaking spots on the globe. And today, we're embarking on a journey of a lifetime. Our first stop, the majestic Swiss Alps, a world of snow-capped peaks, verdant valleys, and crystal clear lakes, a place where every turn reveals a postcard perfect scene. Every breath is a gulp of crisp mountain air. So go on, hit that like and subscribe button. It's your ticket to join us on this epic adventure. So are you ready to explore the Swiss Alps? Drop a comment below about your favorite mountain adventure. First stop, the Swiss Alps, where the mountains are so high, even the goats get vertigo. Welcome to the Swiss Alps, a paradise for adventurers and nature lovers alike. With peaks reaching up to the heavens, it's a place where you can touch the sky and feel the cool breath of the clouds on your face. The mountains here are so high, you'd think they're trying to compete with the birds for the best view. Now, if you're a fan of hiking, you're in for a treat. The Swiss Alps are home to some of the most scenic trails in the world, winding through lush meadows, dense forests, and of course, those awe-inspiring peaks. And let's not forget about the wildlife, you might even run into a few mountain goats along the way, but don't worry, they're friendly and they've got a great sense of balance. In the winter, the mountains transform into a snowy wonderland, making it a prime spot for skiing. Whether you're an expert skier or a beginner, the Swiss Alps cater to all levels. And remember, it's not about how fast you ski, it's about how cool you look doing it. Just kidding, safety first, folks. For those with a head for heights, there's mountain climbing. Scaling the Swiss Alps is no easy feat, but the reward is worth every drop of sweat. When you reach the peak and gaze out over the vast expanse of beauty below, you'll feel like you've conquered the world. Just remember, the higher you climb, the harder it is to breathe. So, take it slow, enjoy the journey, and maybe pack an extra oxygen tank, or two. Now, if you're wondering why the Swiss Alps are so tall, well, they're just trying to keep their heads above the clouds, it's tough being a mountain, you know? Always having to stand tall, never getting to sit down. But hey, at least they've got a great view. From the Swiss Alps, we're off to our next stop. Can you guess where? Hint, it's a city that's a capital of peace. Of, welcome to Geneva, where the chocolate is as rich as the people. Sitting on the French border, this city is a global hub for diplomacy and banking. But don't let that fool you into thinking it's all work and no play. Geneva is also all about the three C's chocolate, cheese, and of course, clocks. The Swiss people have a long-standing love affair with timekeeping, and it's no surprise that Geneva is the birthplace of fine watchmaking. You could say they've been watching over us for centuries, and boy have they done a timeless job at it. Let's not forget about the Jet d'Eau, one of the city's most famous landmarks. This massive water fountain spouts water 140 meters into the air. It's like a geyser, but with a Swiss twist. You might say it's their way of making a splash on the world stage. And speaking of stages, Geneva is also home to the Grand Theater, where you can catch some of the finest operas and ballets in the world. It's all very grand. But then again, everything in Geneva is. The city is also known for its peace-loving spirit, thanks to the presence of the United Nations office. You could say that Geneva is the Switzerland of Switzerland neutral, peaceful, and a haven for diplomatic discussions. But let's not forget about the food. Ah, the food. The Swiss are serious about their fondue, and Geneva is no exception. 
Imagine a bubbling pot of cheese waiting to be dipped into with fresh crusty bread. It's a culinary experience that's great in every way. And for those with a sweet tooth, there's Swiss chocolate. It's rich, it's creamy, and it's so good it'll make you want to bar all other chocolates from your life. As we say goodbye to Geneva, we hop on a train to our next destination. Choo Choo, Lucerne, where the only thing more beautiful than the lake is the sound of the Alphorn in the evening. Welcome, dear wanderers, to a city that's a feast for the eyes, the ears, and the soul. Lucerne, nestled in the heart of Switzerland, a land where time seems to have perfected its art. Now, let's start with an undeniable truth. Lucerne is a stunner. With Lake Lucerne as its sparkling jewel and the snow-capped Swiss Alps for a crown, it's a city that wears nature's best. But it's not all about the looks here, no sir. It's got brains too, steeped in history and culture that run as deep as the lake itself. Take the Chapel Bridge, for instance. It's the oldest covered bridge in Europe, and it's as charming as a fairy tale. But oh dear, it seems Swiss precision didn't work out so well here. You see, they accidentally burned part of it down in the 90s. But true to their form, they rebuilt it with such precision, you'd never know the difference. Then there's the Lion Monument, a heart-wrenching tribute to Swiss guards. Carved into a rock face, it's a lion dying from a spear wound. It's so touching, it could make a Swiss watch cry. And believe me, that's quite a feat. And let's not forget the local culture. Lucerne is a city that knows how to have a good time. From the vibrant fast knot carnival to the serene sounds of the Alphorn echoing across the lake in the evening, it's a city that's alive with tradition and celebration. And for the cherry on top, the Swiss Museum of Transport. It's like Disneyland for anyone with an appreciation for Swiss precision and efficiency. Trains, planes, automobiles, and even spacecraft, all under one roof. It's the Swiss Army Knife of Museums, with Lucerne behind us, we're off to our final destination. Can you guess where? There's still so much more to explore in this Swiss adventure, so buckle up because we're just getting started. Our final stop is Zurich, a city so clean you could eat fondue off the streets. Now, I wouldn't recommend that, but it gives you an idea of the Swiss commitment to tidiness. This is a city where you could misplace a Swiss watch and probably find it right where you left it, untouched and still ticking away perfectly. Now, Zurich isn't just a spotless urban marvel, it's also a city that seamlessly blends the old with the new. Picture this, cobblestone paths meandering through modern architecture, with the Alps standing tall in the background, it's like stepping into a postcard, only better because there's chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, did you know that Zurich is the birthplace of Swiss chocolate? It's true! The city is chock full of chocolatiers ready to delight your taste buds with their sweet and creamy creations. And let's not forget about the cheese. After all, what's a trip to Switzerland without indulging in some deliciously melty raclette? But Zurich isn't all about food, it's also home to some of the world's most prestigious banks and global companies, making it a powerhouse of efficiency. Just like a Swiss watch, Zurich operates with precision and punctuality. Trains arrive on the dot, and even the swans on Lake Zurich seem to glide in perfect synchrony. The city also boasts a vibrant art scene, from the grandeur of the Opera House to the contemporary works showcased at the Kunsthaus, Zurich is a haven for culture vultures. And for those who prefer their art a bit more natural, there's always the stunning beauty of Utleberg Mountain. So whether you're a foodie, a history buff, or an adventurer, Zurich has got you covered. It's a city that's as diverse as it is clean and as exciting as it is efficient. And that's a wrap on our Swiss adventure. What was your favorite part? Did you enjoy the grandeur of Geneva, the charm of Lucerne, or the zest of Zurich the most? Drop a comment below and let us know. Until our next journey, keep exploring, keep laughing, and keep living life with zest.